always preaches faith family football. And that's, that's him in a nutshell. If you have those three and uh, your life is complete. He's a kid's person. I mean, he loves these kids, loves these kids. I get a little emotional thinking about it because I said I got three kids that played for him. And, you know, I've met too many coaches I'd say I'd love to have my kid play for besides Ken Leonard. Since I have known him, um, he's been a strong Christian and tries to use that in everyday life and that's how he handles the kids and that's how he handles us as coaches and so I think that's the number one thing that I would say and he had probably once said about him before even a football coach. You know I'm a young coach when it comes to talking about how many years he's you know he's been in what 35 years this year and I've been in my, I'm in my 13th season so you know I look at him as to how I want to uh, set myself up and coach the kids and Ken tries to stay a step ahead of everybody. Yeah, the big thing now is the RPOs, the run pass options. Um, we, we were doing that when I first got here and we didn't even know what an RPO was when we first heard of them. People don't even know when we get a lot of coaches coming through our doors looking at our kids, but he will bring up kids from other schools that maybe these coaches don't know about. And that, I mean, he doesn't have to do that. I mean, he's taught me everything. And um, the littlest things that I still do to this day that people don't do and or people are saying oh this is the way to do it now and I'm like man I've seen this for 30 years but what makes him different is just how he how he loves everybody cares for everyone and like I said he's been doing it and for a long time and I've, I like I said I think I've seen the best at work um, and it just naturally I don't know if it's inside me because of him or if I just watch the best and that's how I saw it do it for so many years that I just that that was, that was my way and I got lucky to be a part of that you know, um, so I think that's that's his most special gift. What he's done, what him and Liz did to raise his boys, you could throw the records out the window. It, he looks back and sees his kids and what they've accomplished. This this stuff means nothing. I mean, the record stuff means nothing. I think he's going to definitely want to be remembered as a Christian number one, as a loving husband and a loving dad. And then lastly, a great football coach that influenced the lives of thousands of young men and uh, in a positive way and gave them a great role model, developed their character and made pretty good football teams out of them.